Hi, my name is Parker. I'm 14 years old, and this is my room. Nice. So tell us a little bit about... So this is my cork board with my calendar, which is Legend of Zelda themed. So it has like a different photo for each month. This was like an art piece that I did, and it was probably one of the factors of getting me into advanced art this year. Nice. Year long. Okay. This is some old artwork you did too. Yeah. yeah that's like really nice. Second, third grade. I like um, that you no still windows. have it. Tell me what's on your shelf here. So this is like, it includes some of my soccer trophies. This is like a Pinewood Derby best in show. And this is another soccer trophy. You have some baseball trophies, but I think you left them in there. Yeah, they're back in here with all my old art and newer art. This is like all and my tech boxes. Okay. Some boxes to some of your devices that you have. Yep. Oh, that's some of your art up there. That's really cool. What is that now? Majora's Mask. I really like that. What is it made out of? Paper mache. Took me a very long time. Cool. Okay. What else do we have over here? Um, I have like this llama head for one of my birthday parties. This is a very large piece of coral I found in Destin. And then this is like a wooden shark my friend Jackson gave to me. We went to Costa Rica, I think. This is a 3D printed shark I made. And this is um, a Baby Yoda crochet. I don't so by somebody, I don't know. Okay. And tell me about this right here and also- that's, that's like student of the month I got for October. Nice. At my school. Did, was it, were you nominated by a particular teacher to get it or I was think it it's just... just nominated by like all the teachers. Okay. And that's um, on our roll for last year. Nice. Grade. So I have an important question for you. How many pull-ups can you do? I don't know, it's at the very end of the day. <sighs> One, two, three. Ah, oh, okay, three. End of the day, yeah. that's okay. Go what do we got over here? So what, what used to be over here? Like a growth chart and I went past it so like what my current height is. Ah, uh, but we don't know what that is. What is it? Because I think the growth chart went up to so like, five feet. So this is like five, seven, five, eight. I okay. Know. All right, so tell me what's on this side of the room. My bean bag. What's it your favorite like thing to do here? Probably either like read or like watch YouTube on my phone or something. Okay, what, what are your favorite books that you like to read? Um. Well, I have the whole Wimpy Kid series over here. What's the last book that you read? I know you read one for school. Um, I read but To Kill a Mockingbird. Okay, what's your what's the last book that you read for fun? Like, I'm not sure. It was you oh, it was The Fort by Gordon Corman. It was a really good book. Yeah, we got to pick up some more from the library because I know you like yeah, Gordon Corman. Okay, so what do you store in this basket here? Just like bags or so sometimes little pieces of tech and extra items that I don't really have anywhere else to put them okay. kind of just fall in there. All right, you've got a Pokemon magazine and what's below the Pokemon magazine? That's here? my Oculus or MetaQuest too. Can I see the box? Sure. Oh, that's cool. And so what kind of games do you play on that? Um, I have Beat Saber and FNAF, but I mainly only play Beat Saber. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Kind of like a nice case for it. I'm so I like to keep it in here. And how, how long does it keep a battery? Do you have to charge it often? Yeah, it doesn't really have a good battery life. So I haven't used it that much recently. Okay. But it's still really cool. Nice. In front of the playbook. All right, so tell me what's in this area. So I had I just set this up yesterday, and this is like a 
Pokemon section that houses all my stuff. So like right here, these are all like the special cards that aren't in my binders that I want to keep nice. So I have them there. This, okay. This is my 60 card battle deck that I have yet to use. So if I ever were to play the game, that was what I would use. And the basket. What and does it look like? Of, What's on the other side of these cards? Um, are they different or are they just? Yeah, they're all different. They're like trainers. I mean, are they different than the other kinds of cards that you have? Oh, no, just... no. They're just normal cards, but they're put in the decks that I can use them. Oh. And they're put in the sleeves so they don't get ruined. Nice. Okay, are these your most expensive or your favorite cards that are laid out here? They're not my most expensive, but they can be worth a lot since they're more rare. Especially like these ones, because they're extra cards that are special. They're secret rares that come in the set. Okay. What do you have down here? That's my full Wimpy Kid set. Okay. You have Wimpy Kid. And then... And then this is just a assortment of books. Like, I have a few Gordon Corman, and then I have the whole Last Kids on Earth, and then a few middle school books. Nice. So tell me what's in here. So this is like, this This is my first Pokemon binder. And it mainly just houses all my like first cards. So most of these ones, either either duplicates of Temporal Forces, which is the one I'm collecting currently, which is basically like all of these ones. They're all duplicates of ones I have in that one. Or they're the older cards that I have like some Sword and Shield cards or just other Scarlet Violet cards that I collected before. Which, uh, where's your like most expensive card or most? Um, that would be in my other binder. My newest okay. one, right? Good. Oh, this weekend. So my most expensive card currently is pretty far back. Now, how long have you been collecting the Pokemon cards? Um, well, I had a bunch when I was younger, but I didn't start collecting them until this year. So this one's my most expensive. It's a $25 card. That's what it's worth. I think it's pretty cool. What is, what is it uh, that expensive? Does it have certain <clears throat> powers? Like if you were playing it in a game, you I mean, you'd win, it does or? seem like it would be pretty good, but it's not really, it's just that a spec card. I don't know exactly what that means. It's just it's one of the rare trainers that come in the set. Okay. And this binder is sorted by number. So all the cards in the set. So the ones that are missing are the ones I don't have. So I have most of it currently. Around like 70, 85%. Oh, that's nice. And you leave a little yeah. gap so you see. So I see what I need to still get. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, that's fun. Do you have anything interesting and noteworthy in there? In those drawers? Oh, I want to have something cool in here. I mean, I have my Amber Nick RVP5XX console, which is a little emulator that can play a bunch of different consoles. Oh, that's neat. So it's pretty fun to play with. Also have like my pro controller for my switch. Um, this little thing houses all of my games. Oh, so wow. Some of them are taken out currently because I'm either using them or seeing us borrowing them. Okay. These are all your switch games. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Like in here, also have like two Game Boy Advance games for my Game Boy Advance. Okay. That's really about it. Other than these like Zelda Amiibo cards that are pretty fun to use. Cool. Okay, and what about anything else in those, or is that just miscellaneous um, items? Yeah, in this bin, it's just like cords and stuff. So, please help this little plant. No, I don't want to help it. 
Every time I come it gives in me here, bad luck. it's dry and dead. Well, okay, too what's bad. this right here? Um, so this, this is the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom book. It houses like every single thing you need for the game. It can tell you all the different shrines and where they are and how to beat them. It has a bunch of different So it's like a things. cheater's manual? Yeah, basically. It has every <laughs> single thing that you could possibly need in there. Well, doesn't that like take the fun out of trying to figure it out yourself? No, I really only use it if I stumped or I look it up on the internet. But now that I have this, it's much easier than just looking it up. I can just flip to a page. Okay. So this is your desk. Yep, with my nice mouse pad and my brand new keyboard. Okay, so your goal is to build a PC this summer while working at Publix. Okay. Nice. So that's gonna be housed in this area down here, I suppose. No, it's gonna go right here. Oh, it's gonna go right on the counter. Yep. On top? These shelves are probably gonna have to go though. Or get moved like here or something. Because okay. it's not it's gonna be way too tall. And the new monitor will be way too wide. Okay, tell me what's over here. So these are all my 3DS and Nintendo Switch games. The 3DS games go to my 3DS. Just really fun to play with. Okay. So both of these are 3DS games or just? No, the, the white ones, the red backs and tall ones, those are all Nintendo Switch games. Okay. And in front of it is my Game Boy Advance SP. It's a foldable Nintendo console. Nice. And what is this? Is that like a little Raspberry Pi? Yeah, that's a little Raspberry Pi in an NES case. Okay. And we've got some guys up here. Yeah. So tell me about them. This is the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Link Amiibo that came out right when the game came out. Did that come out in like a special edition pack? Um, no, you could, you would buy it separately. Nice. Like these are like Legos that either I built or my brother built. It's are Nintendo related. Nice. Right. And what is this here? That's just a, one of my many Nintendo game co coasters. Oh yeah, you've got a whole stack of coasters here. Yep. Those are so cool. I really only use the ones of the games that I like. The oh, ones just kind of oh, I'm really, really used to. It, so. All right. And then you just have a few items over here. Yeah, the red one's my Nintendo DSi, which has a bajillion games on it. It's really fun to use. You know, it's a, lot, a little bit older than my 3DS. Okay, and this is one of the plaques you got from? Yeah, from the game, it was the GameStop promo for the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom pre-order. Okay, and is this some of your artwork here? Yeah, that's one of my art pieces. Oh, Well, this. all of these actually oh, yeah, are, I looks know like, right? all of this. So you got a canvas here that- Yeah, I painted this at home, and I made this in fifth grade. I made this in eighth grade. And then I made this in seventh. Nice. That's great, Parker. You've got a really cool room. Thank you. We may need to raise this though. I don't think you're that short anymore. Yeah. You've grown up so I don't much. know where else to put it. Like, maybe we could like put it here or something. <laughs> oh yeah, we could raise it up and put it right there. There's already two screws there, so. Perfect. That hard. All right. Well, thanks so much for showing it to us. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, have a good one. See ya. You want to show me your room? Huh? All right, here oh, we go, your turn. All right, well, my name is Mason. I'm 13 years old, and this is my bedroom. Like so, All right, I'm going to do a little paint around. Got a few paintings over here. Uh, none of these were recent, but uh, there's some of my friends that have like And then over here, we have a collab with my friend Ethan. He did this side of the eye, and I did this side. I think it turned out crazy. Nice. All right, this is my X-wing. here. So tell me about this X-wing. Um, it's made. It's like made out of Legos, and I hung it up. Um, I think in July, and um, I really, I just 
kept it up there since, and I really like it. Well, I don't know anything about this particular X-Wing. Who flies it? Luke Skywalker. Okay, and was this a set, or did you? This is a set. Nice. Here is my Lego Star Wars Galaxy's Edge City. And so we'll start over here. We got Droid Depot. And then we got Docking Bay 9, which is the Imperial well, Docking Bay. Wait a minute. For this, for uh -huh. this uh, Droid Depot, it, does it open up? Yes. Okay. So it has a few months here. We got the inside right there. Oh, that's, that cool. that's the gift shop. And then. Um, Right here is the droid building station. So here you can build all the droids. There's oh, that's cool. There. I like that, right? And then over here, this big uh, Imperial ship is Docking Bay 7. I mean, Docking Bay 9, actually. Uh, docking Bay 9, which is the Imperial Docking Bay. And this is a custom mock that I made of the of one of the ships from Star Wars. All right, Black and then we have an Imperial shop where you can buy clone armor and everything. Oh yeah. And then right here is the entrance to the Galactic Star Cruiser, which is a hotel um, that you can stay in. And then this is my uh, my character's house. All right. This is Cal Kestis, the best Star Wars character. And then we got a scout trooper and a purge trooper and a scout trooper that got killed by Cal Kestis because Cal Kestis is better. <laughs> so Cal Kestis is your favorite out of all the Star Wars? Yes. And this is my custom minifig of him that I made. Has a signature lightsaber and his poncho and his hairstyle. Nice. And BD1, of course. BD1 is the best droid. Yeah. So then we have Oga's Cantina, which has a famous sliding door. Yeah. That's cool. And inside we have DJ Rex, my favorite. Actually, so I don't know if it's my favorite droid because BD1 is my favorite droid, but it's one of my favorite droids. It's DJ Rex. Like and then over here we've got the Millennium Falcon. And then, yeah, it's basically the whole city. That's really good. Like so that. tell me about this area over here. So this is kind of like my desk. I do so lots got of a things little, here. I do a little bench here and then. Yeah, I do Lego building, wow. Rubik's cubing, gaming, everything like this. Game. How long did it take you to collect that many Legos? Basically, my whole life. <laughs> and then over okay, here. Okay, so tell me about this shelf you got. All right, so right here is the Lego Mario question mark block. It is. It doesn't look <laughs> like it. But it's actually a geometry dash cube. You push on the geometry dash cube, it views the secret room. Cool. And then. Can, do, does it still have some of the Mario elements? You can take it down if you want to show. Um, I'm going to make a full interior soon, but this is what the interior of it looks like so far. It's just a clean slate for me to build whatever I want on it. I see. So you could uh, design your Geometry Dash level yeah. in real life, right? Yep. <laughs> and then we got Santa Claus, which is the name of my Charizard in Pokemon Go. Okay. And then we got an R2D2, BD1, and BD1. <laughs> Obviously, it's my favorite choice, so I have to have two of them. And then nice. okay. up and here, then... we have got the ghost from Star Wars Rebels. And it actually has a little bit of an interior if you lift this up. And it has a ship that can detach off of it, too. That's really cool. Okay, take your time. Alright. Then we got famous clone trooper commander Cody Oakland. We got the Brooker built Kylo and lightsaber. Wait, which, which one is this one here? That's a TIE bomber. Okay. So it's one of the TIE fighters used to bomb areas. They have a compartment on the bottom that stores a few bombs, which you can like press them to drop a few bombs. Like that. Which is always fun to play with. All those little contraptions are the things that make the Lego sets really fun. So yeah, have these little missiles in there. Cool. And then one of my favorite sets that I got this year is my Lego Fox set. Oh yeah, that's really cool. It came with a tree stump and everything. 
And then I got this little thing right here. So tell me about this sword that you have here. So this is Kylo Ren's lightsaber. Uh, it's made by Flicker Builds. Now, did you make this stand or did it come with the stand? It came with that stand. Oh, that's nice. So uh, it's very detailed, and uh, this is a custom mock like, you can buy off the website. And it's very cool how much detail and everything on it. It has all the switches, and the blade is just amazing with it all like, like shattered and everything. That's really good. And then, as you know, there's a stand for it. So I can just go right back on. Alright? Alright, cool. Then, right here is one of my plaques from uh, Outback Invitational. I think this was last year. It's got third place in tumbling, first place in trampling, first place in double mini. Got a few of your special pins yeah. that you like. Well, this is from building my lightsaber. Nice. And then in here, a few more Lego sets. Oh. Do you have any lights on the back there? I have one light up here. These are a few uh, slave ones that I have. And then a few Milano's from Guardians of the Galaxy down there. Oh, nice. Awesome. And you've got a nice cool geode right there. Yeah, and I got a few trophies from this year's Outback Invitational. They're in the shape of kangaroos for the sub TNT kangaroos. Alright. And then over here, we got my calendar. It is April 29th. I'm glad I remembered that. I normally never remember the date. But we got an explorer. Iron Man and Spider Man. Nice. Pretty cool. And then here's another cube that I have called the Mirror Cube. And it shape shifts, which I think is pretty cool. And I love playing with it. This is what it looks like solved. It's the cube. And then when you start to mix it, it starts shape shifting into all these weird parts and things. That's cool. My Lego microphone that I built. Reporting live from Mason's room. <laughs> so what what did it take to make this? So I took tire pieces, put them inside out, and then that's how I made the mic for the handle. It's just a few more tires and treads. Oh, that's so clever. Put the rod through them so that they all stand together. And the base, the live uh, the live letters are all made of little Lego pieces. If you look at that, that's so cool. And these are made of slopes here. Mm -hmm. Everything. This is one of my favorite mocks here. The the Mandalorian N1 Star N1 Starfighter. And you designed and made this all by yourself, right? Yep. Even has a sliding cockpit from the show. That's and then really there's cool. Baby Yoda right there. Baby or Grogu. Grogu. Yeah. And then I have excellent, excellent. authentic Beskar, which is the metal that's that's that meant that, that, that the Mandalorian's armor is made out of. Right? That's neat. It's very cool. And this is something I've been working on. I add to it at least like every week. It's a big rod. It's super sturdy. Yeah. But <laughs> it has some work to do. But it keeps getting longer and longer. It's made out of this cool technique that has brackets that interlock everything. And it's pretty strong. I mean not Legos aren't usually that strong. Unless you're doing tech neck or yeah. something, right? This is one of my favorite things. It's a phallus song, or as most people call it, a butterfly neck. This one's a trainer, so I just love playing with it and everything. I've learned a few tricks with it. I made a few ones out of Lego. I don't know where those are, but... Anyway. Okay, what do you have on your window still? Oh, uh, these are some mixels. What is that frog there? Um, I got this from Italy, um, what place, it was like, the place with the lemons, what was that one called? Oh, yeah, um, Amalfi Coast. Amalfi Coast, yeah. I got this from a store there, and it's very cool, it has all these different types of rocks on it. Put it still on its side, so I can mm -hmm. go home, I can't see it very well. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Alright, and then, 
got a few drawers and shelves. I keep my books. It's my pin trading book. I collect a lot of things, mostly Star Wars stuff. And um, this is one of my best pins. It has all the bounty hunters from Star Wars on it. Oh, nice. All right. You got Jack, Rare you Rabbit. Offer? Yep. You got Rare Rabbit. And then we go over to this page. A few of them Oops. fell out. It's fine. I haven't opened this in a while. You got all the... Um, what are they called? I forgot. Um, but we got all the all of these pins that are part of the theme. Got Winnie the Pooh. Are they the Zoom Zoom ones? They're they're not Zoom Zoom. They're different. Okay. But then we got the Dreamfinder from Figment, uh, dressed as a bear. And then um, you got a few of these Shanghai Disney exclusive ones that I've been collecting. Okay. These four right here. And then if we turn the page. Some of these pins are loose, running out of space. Yep. But we got Castaway K. We got some Star Wars ones, Epcot one. Nice. So yeah, that's a lot of my pins. That's awesome. I've been collecting for I'd say about like six years probably. And what's this right here? This? Yep. This is a recent moth I've been working on. It's the hallway scene from the Star Wars episode, episode four. Okay. That's um, cool. And there's Darth Vader, and I got a few stormtroopers, and one of these people who fight against the stormtroopers. That's really cool. Like, it is like still that. a work in progress, but um, once I finish with it, it'll be cool. And then okay. over here, this is one of my favorite mocks. This is the Kona ice truck that I made. Fully extendable um, flavor weight. Yeah, I love like that. Mm -hmm. And then got the window where you order. And then we got another window. Um, and then we got cool wheels. It rolls pretty nicely. See it. And then this one's a set, which is a, a smoothie truck, I believe. Uh, it has a little penguin at the front, which I really like. It's pretty cute. My sister got me this for Christmas. This is a custom Pac-Man mod that I made. And it's made pretty weird. It has like a whole core inside and everything. Wow, how did you figure out how to do that on your own? Um, I watched a few videos on different ones that were made, and then I decided to make my own with that technique. Alright. And then this is the Lego Dreams turtle truck. I bought it because it's kind of wonky and also pretty cool. It matches my, per my personality a lot. <laughs> I love that. Like all the creativity and everything. Yeah. That's really neat. Let me see the side of it. Yeah. Oh, I love that. It's very detailed. Well, hello there. Did you come in here to say hi to us? Is that what you do? Speaking of animals, this is my favorite uh, Pokemon named Jolteon. Okay. And you can, and it's the best Pokemon, and you cannot tell me otherwise, or else <laughs> we don't have a little talk. <laughs> And he's an energy Pokemon, so I have an energy card right here. Um, and he's just one of my favorites. I like it. So you just store some small pieces over there? This, these are, this is actually all my mini fake parts. Ooh, wow, that's it's a lot. Very satisfying uh, to like, look through. I've got like Frozone and lots of different parts of mini figs in here. It took me like a year of sorting to get all these. But cool. it's all so worth it. Do you like his bed? Do you like it? <laughs> and over here, one of my favorite mocks I made. It's one of the mocks I made that looks like realistic. If you look at this from far away, you can say like, oh yeah, it's just an iPhone charger with another port right here. But it's actually made out of Legos. It's fully functional. You can plug it into a wall. As you can see, this is a Lego Mindstorms cord. This is all made out of Lego in here. And then this is also made out of Lego. It fits in perfectly. Wow, that's so clever. I love yeah. it. Nice. All right, well, besides this dog, what is your favorite stuffed animal right now? Pineapple. <laughs> Don't you have a figment too somewhere? I do. I don't know where it is. I also have a figment right here. This one goes on to my uh, lamp, and he's magnetic, and he 
has a little pad you can put up here to make them sit on your shoulder. This is another one I have, which is a four. This is on top of my head. I guess they really like lamps, because that one's also one. Okay. But. Alright, and this is um, from when you were from when you were little. You've got a growth chart right here. Oh yeah. Except, this is my most recent height. This is except April. April. You, you're past the chart. Yeah. Not off the way the up there. Off the charts. Alright, what do we got here? This is my Star Wars Galaxy Edge lightsaber. Yeah. And I built this at Sadie's workshop. And. Oh, so it doesn't have its. Um, it doesn't have its blade right now, but as you can see, it's a really cool lightsaber and hook. And if you get the blade on it, this blade plugs into it, so you can go this way to this side. Well, I guess it doesn't make this sound. I guess it doesn't work either. <laughs> the batteries haven't been working the best, but um. Oh, we'll have to do a we'll have to do a redo with the batteries at some point. Yeah. But it is really cool. Yeah. It's one of my favorite Disney souvenirs. Definitely. Yeah, I built this on my mother son trip with my mom uh, for graduating fifth grade. Yep. One of my favorite souvenirs. Okay, anything so, yeah. down here that's interesting? That you want to show? I see mm -hmm. there's a Lexus car down there. It's a mouse toy here. Oh yeah, where toy. did we get that? Um, I think we were giving it to us um, at Galaxy's Edge. We were at Disneyland when yeah. we got it, didn't we? Yeah, and there's a there's just a few things I keep in here. Just random things like pencils and stuff. Nice. Okay, and then what else is down there? Um, we got the little Lexus truck, right? Yeah. Strip some of the tiles off of there for other mods. Oh, I see. Um, it's still pretty intact. It's just the roof. And then uh, we got my Pac Man arcade. I got this for my, I think it's my seventh birthday. And it still works. You can still play on there and everything. I like bringing this on like road trips and everything. That's nice. Anything interesting in your drawers? Uh, this is my rock collection. And then a few Rubik's Cube and like Lego stuff in there. It's one of my favorite rocks, my quartz. Ooh, that is cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like you've got a big uh, starfish there too. That's yeah, really I got this in the Bahamas. Uh, we went to Cosmo. Wait. Yeah, no, that was in Mexico. You know, I think it, I think it was the Bahamas when we got this. Um, in Nassau? Yeah, Nassau. They were selling them at, on like side of the street and we just happened to see it and picked it up very nice. That is cool. Anything in the last one? No. That's just my junk drawer. Oh, okay. And then you do you have anything that you like to read? Any favorite books or anything? Um my favorite book we read one of those over the summer. Nims Island. Nims oh, Island. yeah. That one's I like good. Nims Island. I really that one's like good. One. Yeah, that one's probably one of my favorite Disney ones I've ever read. Third one over time. It's probably one and only I've read. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. My third grade one. teacher read that to me, and I really enjoyed that book. I read the sequels, One and Only Bob and One and Only Ruby, which are pretty good. So, yeah. Well, thanks so much for showing. Oh, one one last thing before. Uh -huh. There's something over there to the left of your Legos that I wanted to see if you could get out. Sketchbooks. A little bit further back than that. Or you could, you could just look at your sketchbook. Yeah. So, this is my sketchbook. This one's completely filled out. That other brown one over there is not filled out yet. Okay. But these are a lot of my drawings. I started when we were on a Disney cruise with just sketches. I went back and colored most of these. Most of the ones I really like. There's E from Wally, Olaf, Hero and Baymax. Got Mickey Mouse in his Christmas attire. Uh, Simba, Duck, I mean Ooh, Doug. Doug looks really good. Boba Fett. Wow, look at all the detail. I colored all these with my Prismacolor. And this is um, a drawing that one of my friends did and that I colored. And then Penguin. Got Snoopy. Um, this 
is a ride in Epcot called nice. Gardens of the Galaxy Cars of the One. Yeah. It's the thing at the beginning of it. Tron Light Cycle. A fox. And just like random sketches that like I think are pretty cool. Uh, we got Cal Kestis from Star Wars, again my favorite character. Nice. And then we got Boba Fett drawn as kind of like a cartoon-ish mm -hmm. style. Like everything like kind of like wavy. And then I got a realistic drawing of Boba Fett. Wow. And then Captain Rex. And then one of my favorite ones I drew with pasta markers. My favorite drawing in my whole book. Oh, that, that other one is... Really Harry the Platypus. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, that's another one of my favorite characters. I'm gonna find my favorite drawing that I fit in here. Actually, I think it's past all of these. Oh, maybe not. Uh, I've had trouble finding it. This one's really good, too. What yeah. does it look like? What is it's, it, it's a lizard. No, no, what, what is the one that you're looking for? Uh, oh, here it is. So it's Lucerne, Switzerland. Oh, yeah. It's my first drawing ever with pasta markers. I drew it at my friend Ethan's house. Uh, and then we got ourselves some uh, pasta markers after that. Which I love it. Yeah. But this is my first attempt at it. I think I, I think I did pretty good. Yeah, you did excellent. Mm -hmm. You did very, very good. I love the mountain in the back with all the different colors. Yeah. So yeah. You did a great job. It's definitely my favorite drawing I've probably ever done. And then do you have any other sketchbooks back there? I have this one, which is not fully filled out. I have a few drawings here that I like. This one's kind of just like an abstract thing. I a few people from my gymnastics team drawing it. Got a duck, half a uh, watercolor, half a uh, prisma color. Got Woody Woodpecker, kind of like x-ray vision. <laughs> I try to do all the trendy things like glitch. Um, I think I have another glitch effect one. But we have Wally. That's a really good drawing. Yeah, that's good. And I drew that from memory. I didn't even look at a picture, which I'm surprised how I did that. That's good. We got an axolotl. And then this is my glitch Woody Woodpecker, which I really wow, like. Wow, that looks great, Mason. Probably one of my favorites. An icon from Geometry Dash. PBA drawing. Um, this is an, uh, kind of a guide on how to draw a head, um, cool. all the different sketches, and then I took that and drew Michael Jackson, <laughs> and then Paddington, Yay. I don't really know what other stuff I have in here, I've got Chopper and Rex, and then a few other sketches I've been doing, Okay. but this one, I haven't filled out yet, but there's a lot of good drawings are yet to come, okay, and then you've got... Behind that, you've got that board. We got this thousand dollar Dunkin' gift card, baby. <laughs> we, made, we got this from building a Lego Dunkin' that by the attention of the president of the company. Um, and I'm very proud of it. It's one of my prized possessions. Not only did I get this, but I got the drippiest thing in the whole world. We got a Dunkin' scarf. <laughs> Look at that. I don't want winter anymore. It's still drip. Awesome. All right. Drippy scarf, Mason, from his room, signing out. Peace. This is Sienna. I'm going to let you know today. I'm going to be giving you a room tour in bed. Okay. Uh, today is April 29th, 2024. You have a Taylor Swift yeah. calendar, I love right? Taylor Swift. That, that's one of my favorite. What's your favorite song? I don't have one. I like a lot of the albums, like 1989 Reputation. I like a lot. Of, I like Red. Um, I like all of those. Cool. Yeah. Um, all right. Let me give you a little panorama of the entire space here. Okay. Before you get started. Super cute. Uh, okay, so this is like all the pictures when I was younger, and then my parents, some of like 
like a little memory little things. Like this is what I got the father daughter dance. That's what my dad got me. This is like a piano for like finishing for like three years or two years. Um, and then I have a painting right there, right here. I did for my mom. She's in one in her room. These are all my trophies that I have. Some of my basketball trophies and my soccer trophies. I have more, just there's so many. Um, and then I have some of my, a lot of my bracelets done. all my art supplies. I love to do a lot of art and stuff. It's my little Pac-Man machine. It's really cool. And then this is where all my bracelet stuff is hidden right here. Right here. So what are your favorite kinds of bracelets to make? I like, so I like making these beaded bracelets that have clay beads. These are like some of my bracelets. They're really cute. And I have a business out of them. What's your business name? Mixed Beads. <sighs> okay. okay, and what are these beads right here for? So, I was planning on getting some baseballs and some red beads and selling some baseball bracelets at my brother's baseball game because I'm always really bored. <laughs> and then I got my Winnie the Pooh house, which I'm obsessed with Winnie the Pooh. I absolutely love him and his friends. And then these are all my Disney characters. Do you have a favorite one here? Um, I really like uh, uh, Ariel and both the stitches. I think they're really cute. Oh, and Alice, of course. And then those are my other mini figures. Oh, what is this right here? Oh, that's something I made in an art class. I just holds my scissors and the uh, like tweezer things so I can like like do stuff with my bracelets and then this is my Lego city it's kind of like messy right now because I'm trying to get it all cleaned up but it's it's a work in progress let's just say that okay and then this is the whole heart lake yeah what is this right here oh this is my oratorical right here it, what is it about? It won third, uh, second place in my class. So I would say that's pretty good. Yeah? It's about uh, changing the world with optimism. Okay. So, yeah. Nice. Okay, so tell me about some of these pictures you have here. Are these some of your favorite photos? Yeah, I, I keep those up there, so, yeah. And then I have a Peter Pan play because I was a Yeah, you have another play coming up too, huh? Mm -hmm. This is a shirt, just if you're wondering. <laughs> Matilda. Yeah. All right. And okay. let's see. We've got some more trophies up here, huh? Yeah, those are the, my other trophies. I also some, have some piano trophies up here. on your bed here. This is your is favorite, Kirby. Little, favorite little things to snuggle with lately? Yeah, this is Kirby. He uh, is a Nintendo like game thing. And it's like one of my favorite characters. Okay. This guy right here with oh. the floppy ears. Oh no. He's sitting up. He's <laughs> Where did you get this guy from? I got this guy from Disney. His name is Dumbo. Yeah. Okay. And then Wait, are... what's this right here? What's this thing? Oh called? my god. Oh my god. This is the Stanley. <laughs> Just if you're wondering, it's so sad. Okay. So, what is the thing about the Stanley? Why do so many people have them? Why is it so popular because right now? Because it makes your drink cold, even though it has a straw. Because, like, usually insulated cups have, like, have to, like, collapse it, like, 20 times to keep it insulated. So, this is really nice because it's. Like a straw cup and straw cups help me like drink a lot better. I get, like I don't know, it just drink makes more me water. Wonder. 
drink real water, yeah. And yeah, like th- I've had this the whole day, it still has ice in it, it's still really cold. Nice. So I love it. So how many Stanleys do you have? I have two. What colors do you have? I have a like a light gray one and I have a purple one. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So you have this area right here with pictures? Yeah. So my Polaroid pictures that I took with my dad's Polaroid. Okay. Fun. And here's some of your running medals, it looks like, and some jewelry. Yeah, this is some of my like 5K races and stuff. fun area over here too so we put this together a couple years ago and this is like where you get dressed yeah there used to be like a place where my bones are and stuff but I put a new gear now I got some bags here so what's your favorite bag I like I like really like the little leather bag my stitch bag and this bag so you've got what are these things called uh Okay, and this is called a little lemon bag. I have a purple one. It's not. It's downstairs. downstairs okay. But it's really cute. It's like a lavender purple. And you keep your hats up here too. Yeah. Looks like. Okay. And then what is? What are these up here? These are my mini years. They're like uh, different times we went, like Halloween. Like this one goes in the dark because it's like the Halloween one and stuff like that. It's just. Uh, do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite time. pair? I really like these ones because these are my newest ones. Where's your like, Christmas ones at? Don't you have Christmas ones? Uh, I think the I don't know. I don't know what happened to them. Okay. All right, and then this is my bathroom. This is where all the magic happens. I guess I don't know. <laughs> and then this is like my whole life. This is nice, it's convenient having a, a shower in here in your sink area. Yeah. So tell us about like your favorite products and what kind of things you okay, like Okay, so this is one of my like very favorite products because I had really bad like dry skin and this like really helped it. It's like glow recipe like moisturizer. And then- What are these here? Oh my god, this is the Sol de Janeiro stuff. It's a perfume. I have two of them. Um, I have two of them. This one's probably my favorite because it smells really good, but both of them smell great. Nice. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. And what do you have in the other drawer? And then this is like all my hair stuff. This is all my hair stuff. And this is some of my makeup. <laughs> and then over here, this is like most of my sunscreen. It says smaller bottles that I can travel with, pimple cream, all that. Nice, and you've got some of your lips, um, lipsticks, lip glosses, and that yep. And then, yeah. Nice. Got a cute little place to put your bracelets. And what are these things called? Scrunchies. Scrunchies. I, uh, these are silk ones, so I, every single time I wash my hair or just go to bed in general, I've always just put these on, because they're like, they don't hurt your hair too much, and they're very like, I don't know, they're just really nice, I really like them. Cool. Awesome. Yep, well, that's my room. so much for showing us the tour. No problem. Bye. Bye.